So, you think you want a pet turtle, and you're wondering where to buy it. Well, I'm here to help you with that. What is up guys, it is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about where you should buy a turtle. Now I just wanna do a quick little disclaimer here. So the only experience I've actually had with where to get turtles is first of all, Nemo. You guys know I have two turtles, so Nemo and Hoku. With Nemo, my Eastern Painted Turtle, I actually adopted him from the Mid-Atlantic Turtle and Tortoise Society, which is a really great adoption organization. And then we have Hoku here, who I actually got from a breeder. But today I'm just gonna be talking about in general some of the pros and cons that I've discovered while doing research and also from other people's experience but I just want to say that I've only personally had experience with adoption and getting a turtle direct from the breeder but with that being said I think it's really important to note the importance of research when it comes to things like this so really when you are looking for where to get a turtle the best thing you can do is do your own personal research which is awesome because you're already doing that right now by being here and watching this video but I encourage you to check out other sources but research like the specific turtle you want I'm sure you have a specific type of turtle in mind and so you're trying to figure out where you want to actually buy this thing and so so find out who is selling the turtles you want and then look into how reputable those breeders or those online stores are and see if that's actually where you want to purchase your animal and see if the animals are actually healthy and so that's really the most important thing I can tell you is do your research when it comes to where you want to buy it and also just use common sense look for a healthy animal find a place where their turtles are healthy and where the people who are selling the turtles know what they're talking about regardless if that's the breeder who actually produced the animal or someone who is getting it from a different source and then reselling it to you so that's what I have to say on research and common sense alright so now with all that being said let's dive into the five most common places where you could potentially get a pet turtle so those are namely a physical pet store an online store where you can buy turtles, a small scale breeder, reptile expos, and finally adoption slash Craigslist. I, they're kind, there's some similarities between adoption and Craigslist, um, and there's some differences, we'll get to that later, but I kinda just put them in the same category. Anyways, let's get started first of all with getting turtles from a physical store. So there's a couple benefits to this as well as a couple drawbacks, but really one of the biggest benefits is, first of all, that you actually get to see the animal that you're gonna be buying, you'll be able to see if it's healthy, and you won't have to worry about it getting shipped to you and being uncertain about what you're gonna get. If you're gonna get something in a pet store, you know what you're coming home with because you are getting to actually see it physically. Another great thing about pet stores is usually the cost. So it can be actually less expensive to buy your turtle from a pet store. But one of the biggest drawbacks with getting from a pet store is first of all that they usually lack variety. And this is because of, first of all, the four inch law. So the four inch law basically prohibits pet stores from selling any turtles under four inches in length. But usually that means that they will lack variety most pet stores that you go to might only carry a species or two of turtles, usually at least one of those being a red-eared slider or a yellow-bellied slider. And if that's not the turtle you're looking for, you might have a really hard time finding what you want at a physical pet store. So that's one of the drawbacks. Another one is that pet stores are usually not the direct source of those turtles. And so what I mean by that is that they weren't the ones who produced those animals. And so basically this means that the employees who are taking care of those turtles might not be necessarily the most knowledgeable about that topic. They're just another animal there at that pet store that they're supposed to take care of. So because of that, they might not be the healthiest animals because they're not with a person who actually knows what it entails to actually care for those animals. And so that's just something to consider. For me personally, um, I feel that there's better places to get a turtle um, if only for the whole variety thing that I talked about earlier. But anyways, let's talk about the next place where you could potentially get a turtle, and that is online turtle websites. And so there's a couple of different ones that you can find. Really, some of the benefits of this is that you have access to a whole variety of turtles when you're shopping from these online turtle stores. You can find most any species and you also have a wide variety of ages. Usually you can get baby turtles online. But the thing you really have to watch out for is because you aren't gonna be able to see the animal before you get it, you need to make sure that this seller is reliable. And so the great thing about online is that most things have reviews. You can see people who do unboxings of buying turtles from different places. And so you can find for yourself 
which sources are reliable and which aren't. And so definitely do your research when it comes to online turtle websites. Another thing to think about is shipping. Because the turtle is probably coming from a place that isn't local to you, it will have to be shipped for you. And so something I would definitely recommend looking for is a seller that will actually ship the turtles overnight. If they're not shipping their animals overnight, that would be a definite red flag because you want those animals to be under the least amount of stress as possible and spend the least amount of time being shipped in a package, waiting in shipping facilities. And so with that shipping, another thing to think about is the cost of that overnight shipping. Usually that can be anywhere from $40 to $80 on top of the price that you are paying for the turtle itself. And one more thing that I wanted to add with these online turtle websites is usually because they're selling a wide variety of turtles, it's kind of like a large scale production thing where their turtles might not be getting the highest quality care just because it is a large scale production. And so that can be fine. It just depends on the company itself. But online turtle websites can be a great place to get turtles. You really just need to make sure that where you're getting them is reliable. The next step up from online turtle websites is actually smaller scale breeders. And so usually these are people you can find on King Snake classifieds, Fauna classifieds, Facebook pages, Instagram. And these are people who usually focus only on a couple different species of turtles and they're doing it basically in their backyard and it's not like an actual company. And so the really great thing about small scale breeders is that they have a specific skill set and knowledge for the specific species of turtles they're dealing with. And so usually, I say usually because not all small scale breeders are good, but usually they will have healthier animals because they are the ones physically taking care of them and then the ones selling them to you. They are direct from the source. And so because they are hand working hands-on with these animals and then being the person who's also selling them to you, they'll be able to have really good working knowledge and be able to help you should you have any questions. I know personally when I was buying from a small scale breeder, there was a lot of communication going on. He even sent me pictures of the turtle I was gonna be getting. Um, and so really with the small scale breeders, often you will find that you were able to have a better communication with them because it's not like a company and you're actually working with the person who is going to be shipping you the turtle, the person who produced the turtle, usually their livestock is pretty healthy, all these things. And so it's a huge benefit to be able to buy from small breeders. They may be a bit more expensive than your average turtle websites. You will have to do the whole overnight shipping thing unless they are a local breeder. But for me, it is totally worth it if I'm gonna be getting a healthy animal. Plus I'll have someone to ask my questions to if I need help because this person has had a good amount of experience hands-on with the type of turtle that I'm getting from them. And so kind of similar to these small-scale breeders, you have turtles that you can get from Reptile Expos. And so if you don't know what a Reptile Expo is, basically it's where a bunch of local breeders, or sometimes not even local breeders, come along, bring their animals to a convention center, and people are able to come look and buy, and it's a really cool thing where you can go and get animals and it's all these smaller scale breeders but they're local to you and so this is great because you are able to physically see the turtle that you're gonna buy you are able to actually talk face to face with the breeder which can be very very helpful for evaluating if you want to get their animals or not you can usually tell if a breeder knows what they're talking about you can ask them if they were the ones who produced the turtles or whatever and you'll be able to see their animals now the only thing with reptile expos is that First of all, the animals there can potentially be very stressed because usually it's over a weekend, so they're at that expo center for two or three days, and so that can potentially weaken their immune system and get them sick. But if the breeder has already had healthy turtles, then it's likely that they will able to bounce back from that. It's mostly just a stress thing. The only thing is that reptile expos, depending on where you go, may not have much variety. For instance, I know that um, our local rec reptile expos that we have up here in Washington, usually there's only two or three booths that have a couple different types of turtles. And so you just have to know that if you're going to a reptile expo, you might not find what you're looking for because the stock is limited to what the breeder brings. But it's really great that you'll be able to actually check out the health of the animal and have them right there. And so reptile expos are another great place to look for turtles um, because of all those factors. All right, so now let's talk about the fifth and final potential place where you could get a turtle, and that is Craigslist slash adoption. Um, I kind of put these together because you might not find those that many like official adoption places that are rehoming turtles. Oftentimes, the adoptable turtles are on Craigslist. And so the thing to know about Craigslist is that you aren't gonna get very much variety 
um, usually the turtles are unwanted readied sliders, and that's really mostly the majority of what you will find on Craigslist for adoptable turtles. And so that turtle typically hasn't been taken care of um, very well, and so it's possible that you're getting an unhealth unhealthy turtle. And so adopting a turtle from Craigslist isn't for everybody, that's okay, but if you are looking to rescue, then that can be a pretty good place to start. Now there is another adoption option that you can go with though. There is one specific adoption agency that I actually wanted to talk about that is really great, and so this agency is called the Mid-Atlantic Turtle and Tortoise Society. It's where I got Nemo from, um, but they are really awesome because they have a bit wider variety of turtles and also they are usually turtles that were rescued and usually they're rehomed with foster caregivers until they're able to be adopted into a permanent home. And so Matt's is really great because they will only give you a turtle that you are ready for and actually want. And the whole adoption process is very thorough. You can pause the video if you want to read some of this. But they want to make sure that when they're going to get you a turtle that you will actually take care of it for its whole life and the people who are running this organization actually care about the turtles and so they're making sure that the turtle will be healthy if that's what you're looking for and so they're really great because they actually ship some of their adoptables um, and because you're able to also do that work of rescuing a turtle but you can also know what you're getting your yourself into and they want to make sure that you are getting a turtle that you will be able to take care of. And so I definitely suggest checking out Matt's if you're looking for adoptable turtles. Um, I know that they were really awesome to work with and now I have Nemo who is awesome and I was able to know like exactly what I was getting into. They were able to tell me like even down to his personality. But anyways, that is what I have to say about where you can get a pet turtle. Remember, always make sure that the people you're getting from are reliable. Make sure that you are using common sense when it comes to the health of the animal and then even the knowledge of the person you're getting it from. Um, and just be smart. Oh, I just wanted to say one last thing. I'm going to insert this here at the end um, is that if you're asking me like in the comments, where can I buy a turtle? Please don't do that because like I said, first of all, I don't have that much experience with different places to get a turtle. Second, if you're asking where you can buy a turtle, typically that tells me you haven't done enough research yourself. Um, so I just, I implore you, go out, do some of your own research, find out for yourself, don't just take my word for it, and keep on learning, keep on learning. So I hope that video helped you. If it did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment if you have had any good or bad experiences from where you got your turtle. Let me know in the comments below because it's really helpful for people to see other people's experiences. Um, so definitely do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I'm trying to be more consistent again. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.